Have you ever heard a parent say something like, that game has violence, the kids shouldn't be playing it, or, oh my god, if a kid plays a violent game, they're going to be violent. Hey guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to the diary, and today we're going to talk about violence and video games. So, violent video games, yeah they're violent, yeah they're video games, but that's the, that's the thing, they're video games, they're not real. Hence why it's got a certificate of 18 plus. Yes, no one under the age of 18 should be playing them, however, kids do play them. I've seen 10 year olds playing Friday the 13th. I've seen 10 year olds playing Rainbow Six Siege. I've seen 10 year olds playing COD. My damn, some of those 10 year olds are actually really damn good at the game. But it does not mean they're going to become violent. Yes, 10 year olds are impressionable. No, 10 year olds should not be playing these 18 plus games. No, parents should not be buying these games for their kids. However, we shouldn't be bashing the games for any kid that goes off and starts being violent. In America, if a kid starts shooting other people and killing other people, the first thing, first thing everyone turns to is, what video game were they playing? What film did they see? Stop it! You are sick in the head if you go and shoot someone. You are not that way inclined because of a f stupid video game. If you teach your kids that the video game world is fake and it's not real and it's the only place they should and can do what they do in those games. Like take GTA for example. GTA is one of the biggest ones for shooting up people anything and any time you can. You can go around killing other players, you can go around killing AI if you really want to. But that's the thing. It's a world in which kids, or not kids, but it's a world in which people are allowed to go out and kill people if they want to. But as long as whoever's playing that game understands it's a game and it's not real, then they are not going to go out and shoot people. That's the problem that this world has. It, we can, as a, as human beings, we can we cannot turn around and say, "Are you ill? Are you okay? Are you mentally unstable?" Because that's not allowed. That's unkind. It's non-PC. Non-person-centered PC. <laughs> but the thing is, we always turn straight to bashing a video game. There was this kid who spent 48 hours plus playing World of Warcraft and died. His mother tried to sue the World of Warcraft company, and the government, well, okay, maybe not the government, but the judge involved in that when he went to court turned around and said, no, no, it's not the game, game this fault. You should have gone in there and turned it off. Yeah, you should have. I mean, I'm sorry that the kid died. I am. The kid shouldn't have been up that long. But if you as parents, guys, cannot turn off the electric to stop your kid playing a game, to make them eat, to make them sleep, to make them go to the bathroom, you've got something going on. You've got a problem. Just turn it off. Deal with the repercussions. Deal with them shouting at you. Because later on down the line when they're alive and they're doing really well, they're being really successful, or they've made their own games company that make their own video games. They will be thanking you for turning it off for five to ten minutes so that they can eat, get something to drink, or go to the bathroom, or turning it off for an entire night so that they can sleep. They will thank you for it. Be a bit stricter with your kids. 
if you're really worried about your kid becoming violent because of a video game they're playing, then take it off them. But don't have a go at the game creators for making the game. It's not their fault. Right? So that's all I really wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, it just really annoys me when I see parents having a go at game creators for making possibly one of the most fun games in the universe or one of the most fun games in the world at the minute. All because it's just that little bit violent. And yes, I agree that violent video games shouldn't be played by anyone under the certificate age of 18. That's why video games have certificate ages. If you're buying an 18 plus game for your 10 year old kid, stop it. Unless you are sure that your 10 year old understands that that is not the way to behave in real life. If you can trust that your 10 year old can behave like an 18 year old on that game. But you still shouldn't be buying it for them, it is against the law. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for listening and I will see you tomorrow. See ya.